shoe. Tighten it and smell the tarsal heads. And since uh, the shoe's being tested out of our lab, we want to make sure the temperature of the shoe is close to where we test in the lab. So it's about 71.5, uh, 72 degrees. That's fairly close. So let's start to measure the uh, midfoot stability first. And we have it at about 66 inch pounds. So it's 66 inch pounds torquing the shoe on its long axis. And that is the midfoot stability. And let's put that into our mathematical formula. Let's go to the rear foot stability. That is about 5.96 millimeters. And that provides us with an overall stability rating of 70.9. This measurement will be a little bit different than the measurement we have in our lab because all of our shoes are put into incubators for 48 hours to stabilize the material before we test it. So if we come over to our chart, the shoe actually from our lab test uh, is testing at 73.5. In our lab, it uh, had a rear foot stability of 6.37, which is very minimal and uh, very soft under the heel. So this shoe has very little rear foot stability. Most of the stability in the shoe is in the midfoot, which is 74 uh, inch pounds. What that indicates is this is a good shoe for someone who's a minimal to moderate pronator as a moderate pronator, probably light stature of uh, less than 170 pounds. This shoe is not, probably not a good shoe for anyone who has a tight uh, calf complex. Because of the heel drop due to compression, it'll put a lot of stress on the Achilles tendon, the posterior tibial tendon, uh, uh, those structures. So I would not advise it uh, for someone like that. It's an, uh, absolutely an anomaly because it has such a high stability in the midfoot, almost as much as a Brooks addiction, but it has almost uh, minimal, or it does have minimal rear foot stability. So that limits really the number of people that can use this shoe. But it's a great shoe, it's a great concept. Instead of using uh, high density EVA, it uses this wave uh, material which increases the structure of the shoe. So uh, again, that's the Wave Mizuno. It's a very unusual shoe, and uh, its uh, use is usually for a minimal to moderate uh, pronator, uh, moderate pronator of light stature. I don't recommend it for anyone that has a tight uh, calf complex. And that's it. Mm -hmm. Was that good?